Uh, I'm the newly appointed chairman of the Unified uh, Uniforum Board, consisting of members both from Uniforum and from ZADNA. Uh, I was an independent that was asked to chair that board, and this is my first ICANN meeting, so it's been a very, very interesting experience for me. I think I'm involved because the board of uh, Uniforum is really uh, involved with both the, the funding and the, the promoting of this application. We see this as a huge new opportunity for, for Africa, for, uh, for South Africa and for the African Union and African community. And we want to make absolutely sure that we do everything in our power to make sure that this application is a success. Not only a success in terms of being awarded the, the new domain name, but a success in terms of marketing and using that domain name to really promote business and economic activity throughout Africa. We have been very involved in the Dot Africa process because right from the start we were convinced that we had the support of the African Union and we've also received letters of support from many African governments. So we believe that seeing that we have a fully technical compliant application as well as having support from the community which is being represented uh, that we will have a successful application whether or not there's a competing string or not. Uh, we do know that there's a string which is similar and it's quite possible that uh, a process will have to be gone through to address the similarity of those strings to avoid com confusion for the, u for, for the user community. But uh, given that, we have no doubt that our, our application will be successful. From my observation, it's been received very, very well. Uh, I think uh, this is the second ICANN meeting where there's been a specific stand to promote Dot Africa, and certainly from all the participants that I've spoken to, there's wide recognition of the name, the domain, why it's being registered, and the kind of message that we're trying to get across. So I think amongst the ICANN community, there's no doubt that it's 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 a very well established. Uh, part of the new domain name space. Well, it's been a very interesting meeting. This I was a newcomer and it was quite uh, fortuitous that ICANN organized a newcomer session on Sunday, which was really the day before the rest of the proceedings started. I sat in on almost all of that session and found it very, very instructive because they went through all of the different entities within ICANN, what the reasons for their existence are, uh, how they work, how they interact with each other, went through all of the acronyms and some of the names that are used which are a little bit strange to a newcomer. So I found that that session was, was really very, very valuable and the subsequent meetings that I've intended as part of the conference have fallen into place quite easily because of the fact that I attended that, that initial session. Without that introductory session, I think I would have been lost. Uh, I think it's been a very good experience for me. I really came here from a, a learning point of view to find out more about ICANN and how it works, and I think I've achieved that objective. I think for the average businessman in, in Africa, no matter which country they come from, if they have ambitions of doing business throughout the continent, Dot Africa is going to be, enable them to establish an identity which will immediately uh, make sure that everybody realizes that they are from Africa and doing business in South Africa. Similarly for many, many multinationals, if they're really serious about addressing the African market, uh, they need to have a presence that specifies that they are committed to the continent. So I believe that it will promote economic development in the continent. I believe that it will be a vehicle for business to promote uh, continental-wide business. And as such, any kind of economic benefit will have an ultimate benefit for the man in the street as well.